We've all experienced adversity sometime in our lives, and we all, at that point, want anything that will give us hope, including self-help gurus such as Tony Robbins, Rhonda Byrne and Louise Hay, that promote this idea that if you think hard enough, you will attract prosperity and abundance into your life, and that you create, basically, your own reality through your thoughts. There was a movie released in 2004, a so-called documentary called What the Bleep Do We Know? It essentially tries to tie this idea that we create a reality through our thoughts to quantum mechanics, which gets up the noses of anyone in physics that dealt with her soul. This documentary, air quotes, came out at a time where I was having a lot of personal adversity. I used to watch this movie over and over and over again, thinking if I would apply what it said in the movie, that it would change my life, it would change my, my situation, which, which it simply didn't. And an interesting thing about this movie, that this essentially was bankrolled by a lady who has a cult in, in Washington State called the Rantha School of Enlightenment. This person, who goes by the name of Jay-Z Knight, or Judith Zebra Knight, runs this, this, what is a cult, and claims to channel this spirit entity called Rantha. Who Rantha is, is a 35,000 year old Lumerian warrior who, after defeating the Atlanteans, was ascended to being a god. And people take this seriously. Not only is she involved with this movie, she essentially bankrolled this entire thing and is presented as a, as a science documentary. I've always had an interest, or professed to have an interest, in physical science. I mean, my, my periodic table is above my head here. So, this was a double-edged sword. Not only did it promise to change my life, but it also presented itself as something that I was meant to be interested in. One point that I, I, I think that is important is that if you follow this idea to its logical conclusion, the fact that you attract things in, from the quantum field, or from the cosmos, or whatever trendy term they want to use, that if you're the victim of a violent crime, if you're bashed, if you're raped, you've attracted that in. That gives the perpetrator no responsibility. This is why I think this is so dangerous, not only because of this conclusion, but also because people in difficult situations are going to spend money on this crap. They're going to go to seminars, they're going to spend money on movies and books that do nothing but give them a sense of hope. It's the same as the evangelical preachers, the televangelists, who say, give us money, donate money to us, and pray hard, and, and your life will change. And, and if you go to them and say, hey, my, my life still sucks, they'll say, no, you, you're not giving us enough money, you're not praying hard enough, this is your fault. This is the same thing only in a different dress. It, it's just mind-boggling. There was a couple of interesting caveats I want to cover. In this documentary, they have all sorts of people, a lot of them involved with the Rantha School of Enlightenment. There was a person in here who is actually a legitimate philosopher of science, um, David Albert. He has a PhD in both philosophy and physics, and he was approached by the producers who are, are involved with with this Rantha School of Enlightenment. And he thought it was just about physics, about advanced physics, trying to explain these kind of concepts to the lay person. But he didn't really cotton on until after release date, and he's come out publicly saying this, that he was misled, that they edited him in such a way that he fits the rest of this Nonsense, essentially. Another interesting caveat is that there was what is essentially an art project by this man called, and I'll try and read his name for you, Masara Emoto, by the name, you could probably tell he's Japanese, who took electron microscope pictures of different ice crystals and labelled them different emotions. This was an art project. This was not scientific research, and yet 
the movie What the Bleep Do We Know essentially takes this and and tries to make out that it's scientific evidence for their case and relies heavily upon it. As I said earlier, this kind of thing gives people a false sense of hope and they're willing to spend money on the books and the DVDs, the Blu-rays and, and seminars promoting, and I don't apologise for saying this, crap. This takes advantage of people in vulnerable situations and it needs to be exposed for what it is. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Please watch the the show I do with my dad on this channel called A Brief History of Nothing. You may find it very interesting and I will see you when I next see you.